guys, welcome back to the FFF HQ. It's a summer, which means it's smoothie time. So today I have three different smoothie recipes for you. So let's dive right on in. So first up, we have a strawberry turmeric watermelon smoothie. It's perfect for the summer because that watermelon, it's fruity, it's fresh, and it's got a little bit of a spicy anti-inflammatory kick from the turmeric. If you want more info on turmeric, you can watch the video that's linked above. So let's get right on into this summer smoothie. So step number one is we have to slice two cups of fresh strawberries. So you just want to, of course, cut off that green leafy stem and just slice them up. And then cut them in half just so they fit in that measuring cup better so you get a true amount of strawberries. And we want two cups. These are gonna get frozen, so I like to put them in their own little bag. And now we have to slice our watermelon. So again, we want two cups, which is probably only gonna be about a half of a quarter, if not even less. And you get to save some watermelon to eat later on because watermelon is an essential summer fruit. Cut off that rind. And then two cups of cubed watermelon. This makes the smoothie super fresh and really helps balance out that spicy turmeric that we're gonna add later on. Again, two cups, and then we're gonna stick it in its own separate bag as well. We've got our bags of summer fruity goodness. Now we're just gonna go pop them in the freezer. So our fruit is all nice and frozen, and you just wanna put it into a high-powered blender. I love my blend tech. I kind of like to break it up a little bit or else it makes it really hard to blend if it's just one big chunk. Strawberries. So once you've saved your strawberries from flying around your kitchen, you're gonna add some honey for a little bit of sweet. Then we have one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. A little bit of water. And like we talked about, we have that turmeric for a little bit of spice color and it's nice and anti-inflammatory. To make it extra super smooth and creamy, the secret ingredient is half of an avocado. I promise you can't taste it. It doesn't make it taste strange, but it makes it so thick and it's my favorite thing to add to smoothies. So half that avocado. Luckily we got a perfect green one, which means it's going to be a good day. And finally, a pinch of pepper, because like we talked about in that turmeric video, it helps activate the turmeric so you get all those good benefits from it. And you guessed it, all you gotta do, Cover it up and blend it until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Now all that's left to do is drink up. This is a very thick smoothie, so I highly recommend using a spoon to sort of scoop it into your cup, or else it will go everywhere. Also the perfect texture for a smoothie bowl, if that is more your thing. Fruity, fresh, tangy, spicy, sweet, the perfect summer sip. Next up, number two, is a watermelon mango smoothie. Again, perfect for a nice summer fruity fresh smoothie because of the mango. This one is again nice and thick with avocado, it's minimal ingredients, super easy and perfect for a quick breakfast or even a healthy snack. I said it's a mango avocado smoothie, so we have to cut a mango. Now this is something that a lot of people don't know how to do, and I actually didn't know how to do it either until my husband, who grew up in Nepal, showed me he ate a lot growing up. So what you wanna do is locate the eye of the mango. So it's like this little, you probably, I don't know if you can fully see it, but it's like a little indent on the mango. Place it on its back with the eye up, and slice about an inch to one side of the eye. And then you get that perfect slice, and flip it over and do the same on the other side. And 
And these are called the mango cheeks. And you can see, you can't tell, but this is the seed inside. So you can try to cut a little bit off if you want, but there's not much left. And you have the perfectly sliced mango. And then to slice it into uh, cubes, which is what we're gonna do. Hold it in your hand, make sure you don't cut through the bottom, or else of course you'll cut your hand. Give it some lines. Back the other way. And then you just want to take a sharp, large spoon, go into the side and scrape around the outside. And you can see all of the squares are coming out of the shell. So we're gonna put those into the bag and repeat with the other mango cheek. They were mango chopped. Now we just want to slice a banana into coins. That just makes it a little bit easier on your blender as opposed to just putting a big old chunk of banana in there. So we have one large banana. Make sure it's nice and ripe. And then slice it into coins. And you guessed it. Just put it in your bag so that we can go and freeze it. You guessed it, they're going back on in the freezer. So you guessed it, that fruit is going right in the blender. Breaking it up a little bit so the blender has an easier time. rest of that watermelon. So if you make your other smoothie, then you can make this smoothie after because you have some leftover watermelon. We need one and three quarters of a cup of cubed watermelon. So again, we're just gonna remove that yucky rind and cube it. So we want one and three quarters of a cup of our nice fresh watermelon. This one is not frozen because this is the liquid that we need to make it nice and creamy. And we're just going to keep on reusing from the last smoothie and we have that other half of our avocado which again is going to make it super creamy and give us some good heart healthy fats. So you just want to scoop it right on in. because there is no almond milk in here. We have all that watermelon, which is gonna give us a nice amount of liquid to get this smoothie action going. And now we just get to enjoy our mango banana madness. It's creamy, it's thick, it's fruity fresh, and it's only four ingredients. A perfect summer win. And number three, our final smoothie of the day, is one that doesn't really have any fruit, so it's not like totally summer perfect, but good for any time because it's chocolate and peanut butter, and it's great for you low carb and keto friends. So last up, like I said, we have a low carb peanut butter cup smoothie. Doesn't have any fruit except for the avocado, so it's good for those keto low carb friends, and it just tastes like a yummy dessert any time of the year, even for breakfast. So again, we are starting with half an avocado, if you haven't figured this out, it is my favorite way to make smoothies creamy. Scoop it right on into your blender. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of creamy and natural peanut butter. You could probably use crunchy if you want a little bit of texture as well. Our sweetener here is my favorite monk fruit. And we have some cocoa powder for that chocolatey goodness. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk and one cup of some crushed ice. And just like that, in a minute or less, we are ready to blend. And just like that, we are ready to drink our peanut butter cup. Even if you're not low carb and you love peanut butter cups, you're gonna love this little smoothie. And just like that, 
three summer smoothies or anytime smoothies. Which one would you try first? Please leave a comment below and let me know which one you try or if you have any other smoothie combinations that you love that I should try. I'd also love to hear that. You can grab some links to the video recipes in the video description below. I'd also really appreciate a like of the video and a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button because I'm delivering healthy and delicious gluten-free recipes, product reviews, health tips, you name it, I got it every single week. So go enjoy your summer smoothies and that summer sunshine and we'll see you next week. Bye for now.